Hello everybody, I got a little equipment autopsy today. I have a uh, mysterious black box. With no name or logo or anything on any of the sides. Now what it is, is a Model 200 Connor appliance tester. Now, back, you know, ages ago, you know, back in the 70s and 80s, an appliance technician would actually go around with one of these in their service vehicle. And when you uh, had a problem with like a fridge or something, you can take this in and you can check out the basic the basic, um, you know, things, you know, what amps is it drawing, what are the volts, and things like that. So it's got a, it's got, a, it's kind of like a basic multimeter in a way. So you got your AC amps from zero all the way up to 15. And then you got your volts and your ohms. So up to 300, uh, oh, yeah, two ranges. So you got 150 and up to 300. So that's on the bottom. And then you've got your ohms, which is on the top. Now I I'm going to demonstrate this. So before I open it up, so you got to you do have to plug it in. So right away when you plug it in you see it's got voltage, so if I flip this off. So that tells you the line in voltage from wherever this plugged in, the customer's house or whatever. So say you were testing a fridge and you wanted to see if the amps were okay. Well, I've got a hair dryer here. So what you do is you plug the hair dryer into the meter and then you switch it on and you get an amperage reading so right now this hair dryer at full power is reading about 10 eh, 10.2 amps, 10.3, something like that, and your volts. So that'll give you the basic readings you need. So say if you're if you had this put into your fridge, and it was reading, you know, 12 or 15 amps, you know, you might suspect the compressor is gone or it's drawn locked rotor or something so it's it's an easy way to tell you know the basics of an appliance now it's it's limited jeez if I can unplug this it's limited in what it can do like you can't really you can't plug a stove or a dryer or something like that or even a washing machine because it's not three pronged that's kind of a severe limitation of it and um oh, and I forget what I was saying. Oh yeah, so it yeah, it's limited in that way in what it can actually do, but I mean for the basic things, you know, like maybe like a microwave or or anything else, I guess. Anything that wouldn't need an earthed ground. And um over here we've got our test leads. So if you want to measure an external voltage, you switch it over to here or to this side and you see the meter is now the meter is now reading nothing. So you plug that in there. And then you take these and you shove them in here. So now you can you can actually use this as a tester. So 
you know, if you want to see if there's actually power getting to like a washing machine motor or something, you can use this side here as a multimeter and see if the motor is getting juice or not. So that's kind of neat. So it's a basic multimeter and amp probe and um, resistance checker. So I will, uh, I'll stop this video, take these screws out, and uh, show you guys what's on the inside. All right, screws are out. Let's take a look. Okay, so basically it's just an empty wooden box. So it's actually very, very basic. Hey, <laughs> look at the old Rayovac D cell battery. Jeez, that's old. And a little bit corroded. I'll have to remove that. Or just rusty. Looks actually looks more like rust rather than leaking acid. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. So you got your power in, you got your fuse, that's probably 15 amp fuse, because the amp meter on the front goes up to 15. Actually, I'll take it out and confirm that. It is... Well... According to this, it's 250 volt, yeah, 15 amp, which is what I suspected. So this here, that's your amp meter on that side, that's your ohms and your volt meter. This little yellow thing here with the four wires connected up to it. Um, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what that is. If I had to guess, I would say it's a diode. Does this, this does not measure DC. I'm not sure what that is. If, if anyone, if anyone knows what that might be, please post in the comments, because I, I'd like to know. There's, um... There's four wires coming out of it, and it's it looks like it's it's spaced out. There's something in between each set of wires. I'm not sure. And one wire is going directly to the um, the volt ohm meter, while the other side goes to the switch. Um, okay, so we got the, we got the ohm, an ohm, um, resistor there. That's to, uh, center your meter. Your ohms adjust. You got your two leads for the multimeter bit, and you've got your selection switch there. And that there is your plug, so... So yeah, really, it's not that uh, not that complex. But yeah, if anyone does know what this little yellow thing might be, um, post in the comments. I'd sure like to know. I'm not I'm not quite so sure it is an actual diode because there wouldn't need to be one in this, unless this here this meter runs off of DC, but I can't see that. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, well that is a uh, that is a Con Air Model 200 appliance tester. Neat stuff. And old. Um, thanks for watching.